Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is Dean. I hope you're doing well. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support. It is greatly appreciated. So Virgo, this is a general reading for you, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. God most high, angel spirit, guides, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit. What is the divine guidance? An encouragement for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That's for their well-being in the highest form of love and light. Okay, thank you. Okay, so two cards are stuck together, so I'm going to go ahead and take them both. So you have adventure. Dare to do things differently, Virgo. And you know, we love routine. I'm a fellow Virgo, so you know how we are. We like things done a particular way, et cetera, et cetera. We just love routine, okay? Can I get an amen? Amen. Thank you. Thank you. So dare to do things differently. See how you can switch things up, Virgo. And manifest your travel dreams. So if you've been really con contemplating, excuse me, contemplating traveling, you're being encouraged to look at how you can manifest that. So do you need to create a vision board around it? Uh, set intentions? Um, look at how you want to make the necessary plans for your travel dreams to come true. Just take an assessment of what it is that you need to do to manifest your travel dreams. You have spiritual support. The rest is truly up to you when you want to go, where you want to go, and how you want all of this to play out. And so, of course, it will all be done in a manner that is for your well-being, of course, but you're being encouraged to manifest your travel dreams. And I don't think or feel like that means that everything is dependent upon everything that you do, but you and God most high and or the higher power, however you honor the higher power, are working together to co-create this uh, travel dream that you have in mind. So look at how you can work on manifesting that. Perhaps you want to consider writing out your plan. Did I already say that? If I did, it needed to be said again. <laughs> so, you know, look at how you just want to write out your plans, how you want this to, to work, you know, where you want to go. Do you want to to go a particular location this year and then or in six months you want to go someplace else etc etc start there but again you could just need to write out a vision board of how you want this to manifest or set your intentions right and for some of you you're being encouraged to move to a new location um, for those who have been considering relocating. So if you've been truly considering relocating, this comes to confirm that it's to go. Move to a new location. If that's what you truly desire in your heart, how can you get that to be your reality? And so... If this is something that you truly desire, you're being encouraged to look at how you can manifest it, how you can move forward to get into or go to that new location that you truly desire. So take, a, take the time to assess what you can do to move yourself in that direction. All right. And I am feeling like you don't have to rush, but it is necessary to, to create and or write out your plan. And if you're feeling really compelled that you need to move, it's necessary for you to do it now. I repeat, this is your confirmation to move to a new location. All right, let me know down in the comment section how that resonates with you and that's not for everyone 
that's for particular people who have been contemplating and or been receiving nudges that they need to relocate. All right. Now let's see what else you have. Oh, you have discernment. All is not what it seems. So in your current situation, everything isn't as what it appears to be. I feel like you need to get some more information, some more insight on the situation. And I don't feel like you need to probe Virgo, but you do need to just allow things to naturally unfold and reveal themselves and come to you. And then all the pieces of the puzzle will come together. Stay true to your knowing trust your intuition of course and keep your dreams a secret you're being encouraged not to tell everyone what your plans are for your future keep it close to your heart you don't need to tell everyone it's not necessary to share because everyone doesn't have your best interests at heart be discerning about who you share just because someone smiles in your face doesn't mean that they are truly supporting you and are excited and happy for you. So I'm hearing the song. I'm not sure who writes the song, um, but it goes like this. Smiling faces, smiling faces tell lies. They don't tell the truth. Smiling faces. I'll, I'll see who writes that song and I'll put it down in the... Um, description section for you so you can listen to the song but that's the song that's being channeled to me that smiling faces tell lies everybody that you share your dreams with that you share your personal heartfelt um, secrets or information with they are not always supportive and they are not wait, always on your side so be discerning Everyone who says that they love you and are with you are not all telling the truth. Like someone's wearing a false mask and I'm sure you may have an inclination, inclination or inclination, inclination, <laughs> excuse me, of who it is. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. So this is your message, Virgo. I hope it has been helpful. Thank you for joining me here. I appreciate you. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. Also, give this message a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and or a yellow heart emoji down in the comment section. All right, Virgo, take good care of yourself. Remember, keep your heart's desires, your dreams close to your heart. You don't need to share them with everyone. All right. So I will talk to you soon. Bye for now. Peace and blessings to you. Take care.